A brick brack that's still standing. Now, that's a find. You can never have too much scrap, plastic or otherwise. This is Burble Bottom, residence of Gil. Happy to finally get to meet you. He's seen a lot of things wash up on his miniature shore, but nothing as exciting as you. Figures it's impossible. As bad as the air might be, the goo is even worse. It must have been upstream only to get to this point in your histo future. But which way are you going now? With the flow or against? It's crazy hard to flipper against the surf, but you can't save the world if you let it sweep you away. Either way, it's a shame the surf has gotten so nasty. A study of man. Thinks life is like trying to ride a wave. You need to pick the right one, but you don't really know which one that is until you're on top of it. Better to ride a wave than let the perfect one pass you by. Seems to him that there's always another wave coming along. Can't imagine how wonderful it's going to be to surf on ghoulous goo. The world is going to live. Can't thank you enough for fighting against the goo. Happy you ride alongside the Myriad. They bring a real shine to everything they work with. Says they shine so bright, they glitter on the waves. But none of that's nearly as important as enjoying the day, right? He never drank from this pond because of the disgusting things done there. Even the fish stopped drinking here after the pollution made the surf mucked and the air blocked his gills. He figures the Tree of Life isn't drinking either. Or, well, that's not true. He said it does drink, as it has no other choice. It's a tree, but it's forced to drink poison. Figures you're right, but that doesn't mean he has to drink that. Gil says he feels like a fish out of water because of this, but understands he needs to make a change. He wonders if you know a safe spot, somewhere the water is still clear and unblackened. He says he's ready to get his fingers fished for this. He wants you to lead him to the edge of a place like that, where the surf is see-through, or at least, you know, drinkable. Thanks you for being patient with him. Let's see. So many ways to disappear here.
dodge. Watch you, Flex. Gil says it's always a pleasure talking to you. Didn't have much help.
Not enough key energy. Those skulls aren't going to crack themselves. You're fading. Swish crack. What a great sound. Almost too easy. There's a serenity about this spot. It's a place for rest and recovery, when day can become night and the other way around. Your key energy isn't up for that. Ready to take on the world. Great shot. Head on. Must face with wind. Gil clearly has his head above the surface now that his fish is in the water and asks you to find and free the peewee gargantua from the bandits now that you're on a roll saving surf surfing creatures. Aira. Gil says he feels he owes you something but understands you have no time to spill as the fate of the world is at stake. But he's found lots of waste when exploring the land in search of clear surf. He's happy to give you the bearings when you have time. He's sure you'll find something of value if you swim that way. Says when the waters got so bad he didn't have any choice, but he waited too late to succeed.
Without you, that is. Here's you might be ready to surf out of here on an ark. Guesses you're right. More like jetting into the stars. With the surf clearing up now, he's not sure why you'd want an ark at all. Thanks you for trying to get the surf to ungoo, as brutal a job as it can be. Asks who you're thinking of riding out of here with on that snazzy ark. So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the ark should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. A conscious choice to be alone means you won't miss anyone. The thing we're really missing here is someone with compassion. You just seem to have passion. For yourself. The world will be a... Well, anyone in... Fest and trip. Figures you know best who you want riding with you. Gil is always ready to help. Sound seems to travel farther at night. There's a serenity about this spot. It's a place for rest and recovery, when day can become night and the other way around. There's a serenity about this spot, That's not opening on its own. Could be a monster napping here at any time of day. Where are the control sticks on this thing? That motor juice station over there might still have some go juice. Long shot, sure, but there's only one way to be sure. It's the Benerth outpost, right where the Pichu tribe dug it up. Says it's time to set the... Here's the first line of defense. Careful of that pew pew machina.
closer than that. from that. to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Heads up for that oil boiler. Stay away till you take that thing out. It's safe to get near now. Here's the second line of defense.
Just jump on that candle and get it lit. Ride that sprocket. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. They all hope you can lead them to peace. Everything seems moist. Could this thing steer itself?
not much left of that one. Everything is at stake. There's a serenity about this spot. It's a place for... We've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes. You better be. A tribe's fort is a bigger challenge than an outpost. They've managed to roll a bang ball against the fort and the plan is to detonate it. However, you need an inextinguishable torch to do that from a distance. Figures a plane torch will snuff out when it's thrown, so you need to add some boom powder to make it inextinguishable. Water trickles through everything.
There's a serenity about this spot. It's a place for rest. There's a serenity about this spot. There's a serenity about this spot. It's a place for rest and recovery. When... There's a serenity about this spot. Treat it fair time and the mount will return the favor. It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you may. Convincing the Sifu that peace between your tribes The mega muck in that cage looks like it could cause just a few moves left. Make them count. Just get out of the mega muck's way. It's a very shiny day out here.
wire claw looks like it's strong enough to pull down a gate. But you just need to aim straight, shoot and pull, and the gate will... The Pishu tribe supports natural evolution on the dogma that only the strong survive. They want to help evolution on its way by conquering the tribes, as they're all too weak in their convictions. Anybody home? He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. He knows what he needs to do, and knowing what must be done eliminates fear.
You're feeling mighty low. Rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to do Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support. And with that, you're spinning your... Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. They've achieved a great thing for the tribe and the land by winning the war. The other tribes will see your side of things with time. You'll succeed quickest by helping others succeed. This is why uniting the tribes is so important. It's only together that you'll stand strong. When you first met, the world was divided and filled with fear, but you've come a long way on your path towards a world ruled by truth and justice. He says it'll take some time for the tribes to come together as one, even if the tribe war has ended. Saving the Tree of Life will be a task you have to tackle on your own. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. The fate of the world depends on the triumph of good. The Tree of Life still stands, and it's up to you to make sure it does so all It's the Pichu Nanchuk. It's more than a little scary down here. 